Hi everyone, it's day 15 of the 30 day Thanksgiving claim challenge. I'm Beth with Bodies by Pilates and today is your choice. So we have a 45 second plank. Any of the seven planks that we've been doing on a weekly basis are our choice. So today you can choose whatever you want. I'm actually just gonna choose a basic plank and then we'll follow that up with our 45 squats our 45 crunches, and then our 45 lunges. Okay, so just come on down to your mat and we can do our 45 second plank together, whichever one you choose, I'll set the timer. So I'll let you know when we're done and then we'll take a quick break before we get into those core exercises. So let's come on into whatever position we need to, well, we usually always start in a plank position and then get ready to go ahead into whatever plank variation that you'll be doing. Here we go, 45 seconds starts now. So remember just to have really good form, always keep those shoulders over those wrists or over those elbows. We always like to pull the belly up. So we're tucking the hips under and then we're pulling out of our hands so we're not sinking into those shoulder blades. If you're holding a static plank like I am, push through those heels, engaging the glutes to help you out and protect that low spine. Keep breathing, we're 30 seconds in. You can do it, almost there. Hang on to it, last five, four, three, two, one, set those knees down and go ahead and sit back. Excellent. Awesome. So just take a quick stretch and then when you're ready, we're gonna come on up. We've got our 45 squats to do. So always remember to keep the weight in the heels. So the toes should be able to wiggle and then we wanna sit those hips back. When we sit the hips back, just make sure not to drop the back, but to pull the back up so that, um, or pull the belly up so the back is nice and flat, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 13, squeeze those glutes, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Last five, four, three, two, last one. Woo. All right, we've got those squats done. So we'll come down to our mat so that we can get those crunches in. So roll all the way down. I'm just continuing to do my basic crunch, but whatever works for everybody, that's what I want you to do. So challenge yourself. We're all on our own fitness journey here. All right, we've got 45 to do. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, 
three, four, and five. Excellent. Go ahead and take that big stretch. So I've been trying to show you a couple of different ways that you can stretch out that core. The other day, I showed you how you can take your arms out and let your knees fall to one side. Keep the opposite shoulder down. You'll feel a nice little spinal rotation. You'll feel the core stretch. Another great way to do it is to bring the knee in towards the chest. Keep holding on to that knee with the opposite hand. The same side arm goes down. We're keeping that shoulder down and you just bring it across the chest. So this releases the low spine and also you feel this great spinal rotation, this great core. You would do that on the other side as well. You bring the knee in towards the chest. You keep hanging onto it. Arm goes out for your kickstand, bring it across the body. Just keep the shoulder down. You feel a great little release in the back and you get to stretch out the core as well. All right, so we'll roll over onto our side, lifting ourselves up, and then we're gonna go into those 45 motions. All right, so today I'm gonna do them in my sets of 10. So feel free to just go right through them if you are able to do that. So find that plank or excuse me, push up position. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to sit it back for a quick stretch, rounding through my back so that my back gets a little lengthening there. And then just relaxing my hands, giving them a little bit of a roll as well. Coming forward into that push-up position again, we're going to get the next set of 10 done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. 20. Again, I'm going to take a quick break, just rolling out those shoulders, rolling out the wrists, and the chest to open up, coming forward for my next set of 10. One, two, pulling my belly up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30. Sending it back, one more break, rounding through the back. It helps to widen it, create some space in between each of those vertebrae. Roll it forward for another set of 10. Right here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 40. One more quick break, and then I'll get my last five done. So as you can see, everyone is different. I need breaks, so don't be too hard on yourself. If you need breaks during all of this, you're getting it done, and that's the most important thing. All right, I'm going to do my final five. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go, my 45. Excellent, that was day 15. So we are really doing great during this challenge. I hope you're enjoying it. it gives a lot of variety, changing it up every single day. We're gonna start moving on to those 60 second planks and 64 exercises each. So I'll see you right back here tomorrow.